All right. Another sort of more major um, new thing in 4.6 with iOS is uh, the concept of uh, delivery options. Uh, prior to now, uh, you've probably been aware that you, you had no options, really. You had the option of, um, of saying, we're not going to deliver it to you, you know, uh, sort of a local pickup, we're going to deliver it back to the school, um, or we're going to deliver it to you, give us your address. But within that, you didn't have any, any options. You couldn't say, uh, uh, offer them express delivery, standard plus standard delivery, or come and collect it from the studio. You couldn't, uh, you couldn't charge extra if somebody's ordering from overseas. Um, so that's all changed with delivery options. Uh, like most things with iOS, it's a two-step two process. We've got to sort of set it up outside of the online system and then upload for the, the site to, to use it. You define your delivery options in uh, Timestone Administrator, in TS Admin. New, there's a whole new object down the bottom, and we came up with this name to call them, delivery options. I've, pre I've put some in, but I'll show you how, how to do a new one. Essentially, you've got a window pane with a, with a new set. Uh, you define a delivery option set. The way it works is you define a set, and that set, for example, my set number one that, I, that I've made has got three options in that set. So to start a new set, you, do, you call it whatever you want. Um, this could be your basic set. Okay, so that's the name of my set. Okay? And then what are the options in that set? What will they be? I can have something like I don't know, you tell me, what would you like? What would, what's your most common options you'd like to offer? A free pickup? Yep. So give it a code. So call it STU for studio. And the description. The, the, the code, like always, I suggest keeping the code nice and small. That means something to you. It doesn't mean anything to, to them. The description is what they will see. So the description would be pick up from studio. Obviously, you'd come up with better language. Free pick up from studio. OK. Go a bit further. I'll expand this. Um, does it require a delivery address? Well, no. If they're picking up from your studio, it, 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 it doesn't require a delivery address. So we, that's false. No, it doesn't require a delivery address. Then we can do standard, let's, let's call it a standard shipping. Oops. Again, whatever string you want in there. Will that require an address? Yes. I'll come to country code and, and state in a minute. And whereas the first option, we don't set a price. I don't know, what, got, what, what would you charge for a standard shipping? Five dollars. Oh, that's more like it. <laughs> do, I have any, do I have any takers? Seven fifty, seven fifty. <laughs> and an express? Do I require a delivery address for that? Yes. <coughs> and we set a price for that one, which would be? 20 bucks. That was a big jump. All right. And you hit submit. And we've created what we call a delivery option set. That whole thing is a set. The set name is basic in this example. The options within that set are those three. Each have got a code. Keep those codes unique for obvious reasons because that's how you will know which one they've picked, the code. The description, make that nice, because that's what they will see. Uh, you will need to put in whether an address is required, true or false. Most times it's going to be true. It's going to be delivered, well, it's delivered to them, yes. Any, any local pickup, you'd say no. And a price, and we'll come to country code. And my set one was essentially that example we just did. They were my three codes. 
pick up from studio, regular delivery, um, and express delivery. Let's see how that, that set, how we use that set, and then we'll come back and look at the other sets. That one doesn't really matter what job we choose. Um, right, general, it's not in there, it's not in image handling. There's a new object called checkout that used to be called fees and charges. Right, it's now called checkout and it includes the fees and charges. So the stuff like the tax, credit card surcharge, whether it requires payment, uh, I'll just say yes, uh, all out, sorry was all elsewhere before, um, the new stuff is the bit down the bottom, the delivery. Now, forget the delivery options just for the moment, jump to the number two and three. Delivery address not required, that's what was there before. Remember, it was there before in a different spot. Same as required delivery address, that's what was there before. So if you just want to continue what was the, the way it was before, you can use those two things. So we haven't removed them but I suspect you'll, you'll stop using them and use delivery options. So, so they haven't changed, nothing's changed there. But if you choose the delivery options, you then select, you browse to your, your sets and choose whatever set you want. I'm gonna use set one in this case. Remember the set, I've called it set one, you can call it whatever you want. And hit upload. Okay, let me, uh, I think the key was FTT, but I'll control V. That's better. Sometimes I'm too clever for my own boots. Because I've got two sites, demo and training, TSIOS, I was hitting one site with my browser but uploading to the wrong site. Anyway, so you can see now, they're my three options um, on the right. You go through, if I choose pick up from studio for free, it takes away the shipping details. They don't have to obviously enter it, that option. If they choose one of the delivery options, of course they have to enter their, their information. It's, in the end, as simple as that for this particular set. Um, so I'll go ahead and put that in. Notice, notice down the bottom, it hasn't actually added the shipping yet, the postage. Uh, it won't do that until you sort of hit continue, which is confirm. Okay, and it goes to your billing details. Now the postage has been added, the $10 postage for the standard, standard shipping. Uh, and we can go through and do the rest of the checkout process for the billing details, etc. Yes, Mary. The yearbook selection doesn't is got nothing to do with invoicing. Yeah, that's not part of that. Yep. Yeah, Brandon. Um, TS Portal online orders report. No, not yet. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you can't. You can't bypass it. You can't get further until you hit continue. Uh, from memory, when I got to here, the regular delivery one was picked. The first one that's. The first paid option, I think, is the default. I'm not 100% sure, but that one that's selected now was the was the one that was there when we landed on this page, which I think is the. Um, I'd have to ask Richard what he's done there, but I, I, I suspect it's the first true. So you know, it was that one, the, the standard, that was picked by default. Um, anyway, so that that's a basic basic delivery option set, free pickup. Regular delivery, express delivery.
but it could be you, you may need it a bit more complicated than that. You had a question? Yeah, when you were delivering the bulk of the vaccine to Yeah. No, I would do that differently because because you've you're ch you've said you've changed changing the offer. So you deliver back to school up a certain date. You change the offer. At that point, you choose a different delivery option set. Yeah. So at that point, Karen, you um, go to what I have called set number three. Yeah. Well, you started with this one. Started. Started with this. Yes. When you refresh your offer, because they now become fulfilled jobs, um, you go to set one. So set, set three, if we jump to that one, is just one. Uh, the code is school, delivered to the school, require address, false. Um, that is exact, almost exactly the same as the old... Um, where are we? As the old delivery address not required, pick up from lab, slash photographer, slash school, slash club. It's the same, in principle, it's exactly the same thing functionally. It doesn't charge for shipping. The advantage of doing it now in an option, Karen, can you see the advantage? Is that you can customise the text. Whereas before it said pick up from lab, and you think, hang on, hang on, I'm not a lab. <laughs> um, I want it picked up from the school. Oh, but hang on, I just don't do schools, I do football clubs as well. So now you can change the text here, use, use the options rather than that canned uh, set option that we've had up until now. So that's an example of where you would use delivery options instead of the old one. So, so set, one, set number one, um, in, in my case, very simple, and probably that's a lot of you all you'd want. Um, but however, it may happen that you get someone from another country ordering and you need to, to charge more for them. Um, let's see how we can handle that. So set number two. I don't care about uh, local pickup. I actually just work from home and I don't want my customers to know that. Um, so there's no local pickup. Um, regular delivery, require address, true. Express delivery, require address, true. They both have a country code, in my case, of AU. But you could put in US. You put in the, your home country, so to speak. Right? So in your case, in America, you'd put in US. It has to be the standard two-character codes. So for Australia, it's U, New Zealand, NZ. Uh, US is US, not USA. It's two characters, US. Uh, CA, Canada. Uh, what's Denmark? <laughs> DE? DK, yes, correct. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> SA, et cetera. It's not that the field is restricted, it is that is the standard um, thing. Uh, I understand your question though. No, it's not. We, we could probably do that since it has to be two characters, yeah. Because that matches later on in the checkout process. You know? um, and then I've got a third option, just a flat international shipping. And I don't put the country code in there. I don't put a country code in there. So you can see what's going to happen now? Maybe not. Let's upload it and have a look. So I'll change to set number two. And uh, get back to cart. Clear the cart. I'll just refresh it. Go to checkout. Okay. Because it knows me, it's remembered me from the session, but even if it hadn't, my default country for training.timestone.com.au in my any, any file, in my site folder, is AU. I've and we set that up for you when, when you set up a uh, new iOS. If you're in America, we make your default country US. Um, and that, so when your customers go to check out, the country already says USA. I don't know if you've noticed that, but it sort of already knew that. 
Um, notice with that, it hasn't even offered me, it hasn't even shown me the international option. Right? It only shows me the ones that were relevant because my country, my delivery address country is Australia, so it shows me only the options with the Australian country code, AU. If, however, I'm somewhere else, it doesn't, sh doesn't show me, it doesn't allow me the domestic options, and it will only show me the international. Um, simple as that. So, Yep, good question. They come from your any file in, in your site, which you know about either. Uh, you, can, you can get to it, yeah. Yeah, when, when, when um, well, you could have, in your case, you just have New Zealand. You just have NZ. Oh, you want them in the drop down? Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, the ones in the drop down. Well, they can't. You see, you define it from your file. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, you can get to it with your, or we we can we can do it for you. It doesn't take. Yeah. And we 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 you tell us which countries you want in that list. I wouldn't go putting, you know, like some places. You're not Amazon. You're not going to ship to Lower Chad, you know, Upper Somalia. I, you know, it just it's just again one of those. Uh, trip up things for your customer to make it harder for them to order, you know, to go through and find their country in, in the list of 327 sovereign states. Yeah. So, yes, that, that list comes from your site setup, your site folder, the any file. Um, I'll show you how to do that once I get my credentials to get in. Um, but the idea is, unless it's the home country, in this case, AU, I've got those options. If I choose any other country, they're not there. There's a bit of a CSS issue. I have to. That's interesting. Oh, I see what's happened. You don't have states, do you? In New Zealand, you don't have states. Huh. That's why. Canada, you have states. Cool. Oh. <laughs> you, just, <laughs> you just have to be different, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, now. I haven't got them set up, but I'll, I'll talk about it because possibly um, what you would also do, there's also the concept of a state, not just country code, and it works exactly the same way. You could specify your home state, you know, CA for California, um, and then someone who's out of state have a different shipping option, so if it goes to there, you charge them more. Uh, you can do that same, same logic that we've done for international, you can use for uh, at, at a state level, if you do that. I don't know if you do that, if you would charge more if someone's ordering from out of state. And it may depend which states, so you may have a few different ones. You may have an option for California, another one for neighbouring states, but if you're shipping to uh, Florida, you may uh, have a different option that charges more. No. No. I like your idea. <laughs> so, so like if they're ordering, you usually mean just on the value of the order? Yes. So the more they spend, the more you're going to charge them for shipping. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Look, we we did talk about th those sort of. It's just too hard with the combinations for, for the number of times you're going to do that, I think. Um, when 95, probably 99% of the times, all you want is probably that one, um, which is still infinitely better than what you've had up till now. Would, would you agree? Yeah. 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 You, now, you might use the country, but probably most people, other people wouldn't even use the country. Yep, Sandra? I know, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we, we'd have to change it. In the same way I said about changing that other text, we'd have to change it at the site level. You can't change it um, at, the, 
at the job at, at the other. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have to check, and you may have to check if you're in Canada and doing this, what it shows you, because there are some smarts that it picks different things depending on on, on the location. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And, so, and, and some countries don't have states still here. Yeah. yeah. Ha have a look at what it does now, and then, yeah, that's, that's not a big deal. Yes. <laughs> Let's not go there. That have states, yeah? <coughs> sorry, sorry, I can't hear you, Peter. Yeah. Yes, but it, the title says state. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We can we can change it with the strings for we, we can do the custom strings yeah yeah for the Canadians um, <laughs> yes oh no that that's just me that was my shortcut for pickup that's all you, you mean yeah no no that, that yeah yeah um. So look, that's that's it really. It, it's <laughs> it was a lot of work for us, like a simple and uh, thing at the end. Um, you go ahead and check out as normal. Uh, you will need to know, of course, what the delivery option is, uh, and I have to check my document. But in fulfill on your order headers, you're using new at code at delivery code, and that will give you the delivery code with the delivery address and all the other stuff. Okay, and that's where you get it there. Also in the fulfill, in the export of fulfill, there's a, there's a delivery code column in that, so you get the delivery code that way. Um, if the orders are coming back into Neopack, it's a bit more problematic, um, but, uh, because there's no order headers in, in, in Neopack. But I'd put, did we end up putting it on layouts? But we, yeah, we could put on a layout, but, but I don't know what people do now with orders they're downloading into Neopack if they're going to be delivered to a customer. I don't know what you're doing now. So, no. uh, hang on, uh, Patricia, behind you first. Yep. Um, the other fees, they're all in this one window. You, you tax, uh, credit card surcharge is what you can add. There are people who add a credit card surcharge as anyway. Um, but so what tell me an example of what you want to do? Well, you know, say for instance September yep. uh, they're ordering in January. Yep. Uh, they have a late fee and they're gonna pay the late fee for Well you can you normally what the way you handle that is you change the offer. When it comes to that date, you would you would change uh, change your offer. Uh, and and uh, you could, you could, your delivery option changes, and you'd have a more delivery. It wouldn't say explicitly late fee, no. Well, you could, yeah, yeah. So, Patricia, what's the answer? So we can all hear. What were you? What was your suggestion? No, no, your question, your suggestion for the. So that they don't actually feel like they're being penalised. The prices are different. It's it's a very very common workflow. Up until a certain date, you've got you're offering these products at this price, and you'll deliver it back to the school. Maybe after that date, the products might change at a different price, and you'll deliver it back to the straight to the customer. Um, you can change that offer very easily as many times as you like, and just hit refresh. Yeah. 
So you had a question, yeah? The, on your order header with the code at delivery code, yeah. Sorry, I, I don't mean I don't know where you mean. Where where do you, where in fulfill? That's a bloody good. Sorry, pardon my French. <laughs> That's a very good point. Um, did you hear that, Pete? We're probably going to need a mechanism fulfill to filter by code or view by code because you're going to need to know who's ordered express so you handle that one quickly. Yeah. Good suggestion. You know, you don't want chocolate. So yeah. um, yes. Only, only if it's the same job. If they're two different jobs, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah it needs to be the same job uh, to be able to do that change route. There's nothing to, to stop them. Um, they'd have to complete the order in one, for one job, check out, then log back in with the new key, check out. Correct. Yeah, correct. The, the only way around that, perhaps, is if, if you know that information, you could give a coupon to them, so use this for your second kid, um, and that will discount you know, the value of the postage, for example. Um, that, that's one workaround, workaround I can think of. Other people have suggested some other stuff. Hang on, Mick, I think there was a question behind you first, or you're just stretching. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, this that hasn't changed that. Yeah. Yeah. This is just at the checkout. Yeah, if, if it's the same job, not an issue. You can hit change shoot as many times as you like. Yeah. Brandon? The export does it, fulfill export. Um, and we'll put it in Neopack, so just like you can use at order on a layout. Uh, and as Patricia was saying, there'd probably need to be some sort of filter or mechanism in, in Neopack to you know, filter by code, so you can see which one of your express orders that you should get onto. Uh, I think in the initial phase, I need to I'd need to make it aware of that new column in the in the, 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 the new information in the database. From there, you could probably update it. Yeah, but initially, I would have to uh, make it aware that that table has been changed, yeah. <coughs> yes? Yep. When you say it's listed under the parent, what, what are you actually looking at when you say that? But where are you seeing the parent's name? Are you printing a header? Or you can print, do you know you can print order headers in Fulfill? They do, because that's his ordered, but you can also list what was in the order, and in that list you would have the subject name. Yeah, um, I don't. I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll fire up an order header and I'll show. You. Um, I'll fire up fulfill. 
No? You can do both. Um, now, um, Patty, Patricia Brown, you know how you say, I'm your favourite person of all time? You say that all the time? That's about to change. Because look what Peter's done for you. Filter by offer? Yeah? You're welcome. Don't thank me. Um, now, uh, yeah. Well, what am I doing? Temple designer. Trying to find an order header. <coughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know your name. Meg. Okay. Um, you can see this order header, which I think I've pinched from from Patty and, and Rebecca. A whole lot of information on it. Um, you see I put in at delivery code as well. You, you don't have to photograph it, I can give it to you if you want. Um, and you see, see in the curly, in the, in the square brackets, at item name. Now this, don't think of item as in a Neopack item. This is like the, the order, the order item. Uh, because remember, package could have lots of different um, components. Um, name in this, in, in, for, for your purposes, name here is the subject at name, at folder, at, at, the, at their key. Um, what? Yes? I was just going to see if I've got one where I could print, but all mine are for a single subject anyway. Um, but Meg, what, what happens is, just to give you a quick uh, tour of, of the template, those square brackets uh, are important at the front and the end because what, what that tells us to do is list. So you, you'll get all that information per, per component, so per subject in, this, in, in Pete, what Peter's telling you. So if the mum does order for three kids, you'll see three lines, each with their name, their folder, in this, yeah, their key, etc., and what they've ordered. Um, so you, you print those and put them as, with your packaging. Yeah? Um, all right. So I just... Back to this, because this one had me intrigued. Uh, Patricia, what, why were you going to use a filter by offer? Yep. Okay. So you don't need them by job then in, within that. So so this fil I've filtered by um, the offer. The offer is called digital download, but potentially I could have had lots of jobs with digital download. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. <coughs> 